So we've got a trapezoid, um, and trapezoid has not that many properties, but it still does have some. So I tried to put pictures on here that kind of show you the different properties, and I'll talk a little bit about everything. Uh, but like I said in the original video, if you watch this, this is going to come down to how much time are you willing to put into memorizing these properties. If you spend very little time, it makes this stuff incredibly complicated to do. Um, if you spend a good amount of time, then it makes it doable. You can reason your way through the questions. Um, you know, best solution probably to make some flashcards or um, as you go through and do problems, if you'll write down the properties that you're using and read through the properties each time um, when you're looking for it, that will help you study. But um, nothing's going to nothing's any better than just good old fashioned reviewing these things. So basically, a trapezoid has one property. It's got one pair of parallel sides, but that gives it some other things that happen. So we've got some alternate interior angles. Um, they're marked right there, the green angle. The green angle, the red angle, the red angle because of the parallel lines. And then we have some angles that add up to 180. A and D add up to 180. So do B and C. This angle and this angle add up to 180 also. Uh, remember that it only happens between parallel lines. And since there's only one pair of parallel lines here, um, that means there's only that specific stuff happening. All right. So this is a little challenging sometimes to remember which properties it doesn't have more than which it does have.